We gotta get it out of these bodies. We have to get people help. So on page 303, on page 303, you're gonna see the correction for an ERS on the left. If we have an ERS left, what is our problem side? The left side. What's not happening? It's not opening. That's not opening and it's stuck where? Chest. So what do we have to do? What's our big element in treating an ERS lesion? We, want to open. we have to flex it. We have to open it somehow. And if it's ERS to the left, remember pathology. So it could be ERS to the left. Type in rotation. <clears throat> then we have to help that facet joint open. Mm -hmm. So flex, side bend, rotate to the right. And that's going to be the treatment position for it. Okay. Come on up. Somebody, you know? Excellent. Thanks. Oh, great. Perfect. Does he have one? Does he have ERS? I don't know. We're just going with things right now. We got lunch at 12. That's hey. Lunch, yeah. We have 15 minutes for lunch only today. No! <laughs> oh, that's, long enough. that's not long enough to get outside. It's going to be a seated check. I have a school line. You can sit right here. Then I can reach you get out at 3.30. So, treating somebody in a seated position, what's important to have them do with their feet? Be supported and stable. Okay. Do you need a stool? Uh, actually, no, I think we're going to be okay. All right. So the treatment that we're doing here is a, an ERS left in L4. So what do we need to do? We need to have something to monitor what we're doing, right? Okay, there we go. <laughs> Big? Okay, good. So this could be a very true bona fide treatment. Marius believes he found the ERS left in L4. So what we need to do is we first need to find localization. So let's not just move through things. It's important for you guys to get this process done. First we want to get a landmark. What's the best landmark we can go with in this area? PSIS. PSIS. Perfect. Let's get you to be a little more neutral. Thanks. PSIS. And it comes to the midline and go a little superior. Thanks. Now, am I on the transverse process of L5? No. Lamina, right? Lamina. Transverse processes are hidden. Very deep. And I'm going to come up one more level to L4. Okay? Now, because it's an L4-5 issue, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, with my middle finger, monitor the interspinous space. Because when I start to flex them, I'll be able to feel the motion here. And then I'm going to take my index finger and put it on the transverse process on the left. What level is the ERS at? What are we doing? L4-5. L4 ERS. So it's an L4-5 ERS left. Okay. You're on the TP of? I'm on the left TP of L4. And then you're on the spinous process? Interspinous space of 4-5. Oh. So it looks like that. So, what I need to do now is I need to come into my standing position so I can control the motion. All right, so I've got my palpating fingers here. I want to be able to palpate with this index finger the transverse process opening. Okay. So what I can do here now is I can make two contacts. One with my shoulder or chest coracoid process, what I like to refer to as the coracoid contact on the back portion of the sho his shoulder, and I could then control here as well with my hand uh, to help bring him into some flexion, side bending with my torso, and then finally rotation. Okay, so let's do that localization again. A little bit of flexion, and how can he help me with the flexion? What can I ask him to also do? Stop right there though, because I don't want it to go past the feather edge of the barrier. I can further control the side bending with my trunk and my hand grip. And I'm also, just so his arm doesn't get in the way, have his arms down at the side and going towards the right. <clears throat> now I'm going to flex him down to that segment, side bend him, okay, and then rotate. So I'm in a position of flexion, side bending and rotation to the right to help treat 
an ERS on the left. Okay? So I'm going, I'm asking the facet joint to do something that it's not doing right now. And now I'm going to implement muscle energy to help me with this technique. So Matt, what I'd like for you to do is I'd like for you to try to bring your left shoulder back into my chest as you try to extend more upright. Hold, two, three, four, five, relax, two, three, a little more flexion because that's the big component, rotation and side bend. One more time, hold, two, three, four, five, relax, a little more flexion, slouch, good, side bend rotation, okay? Now, the way that Phil Greenman finishes this technique, and we want to show you, is on the next page, where he then <coughs> helps to stabilize L5 and takes the full segment of L4 now into flexion. Okay? And just holds that into position. <coughs> just to finish off the full flexion moment of L4 onto 5. So I'm blocking five with my heel, and I'm still bringing both facets now of L4 into flexion. And you're in neutral now? You yep. You're not rotated or side bent at all? Correct. Who's in flexion then? I just mean in terms of side bending and rotation yep. work. Just, just in the just sagittal plane. Okay. Yep. And okay. I have them come back up. Now what I would do is just reassess, making sure that the facet joint now went into flexion, side bend, rotation to the right. So in flexion, I should actually have symmetry with my, uh, with my transverse processes. Another caveat that Dr. Makovsky always wanted to hammer home with this technique, just to safeguard prophylactically against derangement, you can now have the person stand and do two or three repeated extensions just to help counteract the uh, bilateral flexion that comes at the end of that initial treatment. All right? So you can stand up. How about if you have a patient who says to you, you know, I'm feeling a lot of pain down my leg right now when you're flexing me forward. What would you do? Don't flex them forward. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So supporting here, blocking L5, allowing four to come. And again, you don't have to hold it. Just a little extension, a little extension. Milky, milky. Yep. Milky. Milky. Yep. If if I have an ERS lesion, yeah. what's the what's the arthrokinematic problem? Oh, it can't open. It's stuck closed. So in extension, all ERSs are symmetric. Right. Because it's not a closing problem. You'll see it when you go into flexion, because it's an opening problem. So I reassess him in the bias of flexion. Make sure real quick how you found it. Absolutely. Prone, please, Matt. So what we did was we came first in neutral, came here, it was L4 ERS left, mm -hmm. come off the PSIS, can you maybe just do the front camera then, or you know what Matt, spin so your head's the other way, it'll be easier to see on the camera. Good. Yep, so PSIS, find my localization. Come into the midline, and I go up to one level until I find L5. Come out to L5, I look for symmetry on the lamina. I find no problem. Here, at L4, I come out, and I find in neutral that the left TP is more prominent, and the right TP is less prominent. I just go to the next level at L3 to see if there's symmetry, and there is. So I now know that it's a problem, a type 2 problem at L4. I just don't know if it's flexion or extension yet. I just know that it's a major motion loss and it's a type 2. Come on into extension, up on your uh, elbows in the sphinx position. I'm on that level, 
comes up into extension, total symmetry. The asymmetry goes away. So because I know it's asymmetrical in neutral, it's only one segment, and it becomes symmetric in full extension, it has to only be an FRS. So I have him come, it has to be an ERS, I'm sorry. It's an FRS, I apologize. It has to be an ERS. So to confirm that, I now have him come sit back on his heels. And boom, that transverse process hits me right in the belly. On the left, it's now not opening on the left. And that confirms my finding or suspicion of an ERS on the left. <coughs> You do neutral, extension, and flexion to confirm the ERS. You do neutral, flexion, and extension to confirm the FRS. Right? Question. Um, after we correct the these months of energy a few times, and you said that we need to neutral and flex. Yes. By the book. He um, says it keeps the rotation. Yeah. Yeah. You want to go to go into if you want to do the one correction first with the rotation bias, you can. But ultimately, you want to make sure the f segment fully flexes symmetrically. So you can go into neutral forward flexion. Yes. 